Hey guys, what is up today? This is Dalsu with Dalsu Plays, back with some more City Skylines After Dark expansion. And I just realized, you know, we haven't really grown population-wise very much in the last couple episodes. I was just re-watching some of the videos, and like three vid videos ago we were at 22, and then we grew up to 24, and then we shrank back down to 22. So we seem to be having a problem with getting steady growth for whatever reason. I'm not sure what it is, maybe I'm just not zoning enough residential. But we're going to have to try to, you know, continue to grow our population because that's a real problem. Now, uh, I'm, I'm guessing that this is probably the best place to do it. Either I do some high density in here or I do some more low density residential in here. And I've already got this kind of set up. I also have some space up here to do some light residential. So why don't we do that first? This is just the easiest solution right now. <clears throat> and it is going to be a bit on the gritty side so sorry about that I don't like to have a grid too much but we can um, can see it's going to be fairly blocky but oh well we will connect it there again make another intersection if we have to leaving a lot of sp space that could be used try to get a little, a little bit closer here with these blocks Alright, I think that's probably a uh, good little chunk that we can do all at once. Let's make sure that we've got utilities hooked up first. And we'll go ahead and do that. All of this. That's got to give us a big boost in population, you would think. At least until the uh, desire starts to go down here, at which point they'll stop growing. Why are you so unhappy? <laughs> they always start unhappy, or is that how it works? Okay. Well, we'll come back to that later. Let me zoom down here and start working on some high density residential that we're planning on doing here. It's going to create a bit of a traffic bottleneck. But oh well, looks like we had a building burned down. Do we want to connect St. Charles? There is actually a famous roundabout. It's like one of the only roundabouts in New Orleans. I think it is the only roundabout in New Orleans. About right here, it's called Lee Circle. Why don't we do Lee Circle just for fun? Lee, Cir Lee of course, was the uh, general for the Confederacy during the Civil War. And yes, we still have a statue to him. And no, it's not racist. He's a historical figure from our past. Get really angry at people who... I mean, there's a lot of people from out of town who want to come, come to New Orleans and tell us to tear down our statue. And fuck those people, man. Yes, there should not be a Confederate flag hanging on the courtyard. And there's no question about that. But if you're, you know, going to come somewhere and tell someone that their historical figure should not be remembered, then you're like the worst kind of person. All right, that looks pretty good. What do you think? We're going to have a little bit of empty space in here. I don't know, I would love to be able to get a connection, but that's going to require a little bit of work. Do we really need the connection? Probably not. We could take people off of this. This would be nice. Take you off. Put you there. <laughs> that would be nice. Alright, let's fill in the other spaces in between. Shall we? This is kind of the warehouse district. It's called the warehouse district because it's full of warehouses. But nowadays it's like uh, artsy lofts and stuff. We'll do you out like that. That looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I guess we could do one more connection up here. Yeah. 
There we go. That won't create an. It will create an intersection. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. Let's do one more. Connect it there. Do one more. Shouldn't be a lot of empty space here. This is like a downtown kind of thing. All right. I like that. Let's uh, let's make sure utilities are hooked up. in the like least efficient way possible. <laughs> Sorry about that. Go ahead and connect it there just so it looks like it might, ooh, what's happening over here, death wave, huh? So we have a problem with cemeteries apparently. So let's lay down a few of those. It's gonna be under hospitals and cemeteries so we can get the dead out of there that's a big problem there's even a dead person in the park holy god two big cemeteries right there okay happy let's uh let's just scan for other problems here as you should always do French Quarter seems the only place that has does, has not had any problems at all. We have another death wave here. Okay. So let's do let's do another cemetery. Do two up there. That'll keep you happy, I hope. And what about our crematoriums? Our crematoriums not working. Deceased stored, huh? It's just a matter of not having enough uh, cars and trucks going out there scooping dead bodies is what it looks like to me anyway. So hopefully that'll get resolved before they abandon ship, so to speak. And since we've got a bit of population growth, or since we've had a bit, Looks like these have kind of resorted, or resolved themselves rather. All right, so that's good. So we're ready for our new area here. People can get off there. It would be nice if people could like get on here. Not really sure how to do that. That's gonna be too many exits too close together, isn't it? Let's go ahead and zone it up and see how it does. We'll start with this area. Did we get it all? Yeah, I think we got it all there. We'll give it a chance to grow. It looks like desire is actually pretty low. They want some commercial, huh? We can give you commercial along the river if you don't give us uh, any more of that not enough workers bullshit. There we go. What do you think about that? Get some uh, get some shops and stuff. Not really growing like I was hoping that it would. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. Most attractive city. I think so. So, yeah, we have a problem here with uh, desire, for whatever reason. Make sure we get water along our stretch of residential here. There we go. Slowly but surely, growing. It keeps asking me now for industrial, but I'm just, like, so wary of that because... In the past, every time they want that, and I zone it up, and then they say, sorry, not enough workers. But maybe now they'll have enough workers. We've grown by like, what, 2,000 since the beginning of the video? 2,000 people is a lot of workers, right? You would think. 
but still, we have this symbol right here. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on. Not enough workers, not enough workers. Must be just a small amount that's missing. 10 jobs available. How's our trash situation? We got a lot of full. Well, it looks like we're incinerating it all, so. I don't know what there is to complain about. A building has burned down. Probably use another fire department, but not yet. How's our new area doing? Sh pretty shitty. Still growing, though. It's got good police coverage. You know, I think this area down here could use a hospital, probably. We'll do a hospital like here. It's gonna make people real happy, I think. Cause a lot of upgrading, hopefully a lot of growth. So we really won't have to worry about not enough workers. Why don't we make this area into offices since it has pretty good connections. Um, how are we going to do this? We could connect it to the uh, roundabout. It's the only way to do it without making a light, huh? All right. That looks pretty good. So do we want, we want commercial, right? High density commercial. Hopefully that grows pretty fast and causes our residential desire to rise. Got a lot of upgrades from that hospital, huh? What about you? Health is good, fire is okay, police is okay. Elementary school. University. Yeah, our universities are gonna be like down here. I don't know why all of these are full. Let's say we need a couple more incinerators, but we don't have really have the money for this, but Oh well, better better to uh have enough incinerators and not enough money. <laughs> yeah, that's going to wipe me out probably. But oh well. So be it. Do what you got to do. There goes my train. Going to the, uh, yeah, no, no passenger served last week, huh? Seems like it's working now. Spawning a bunch of new cars. All these people are going to walk where? To the bus stop? Where are you people going? To the bus stop, okay. Probably should put a bus stop down there if I was really thinking straight. Not enough water. Slowly but surely getting some new uh, people moving in. Finally getting our population up. I think that's kind of been holding us back for a while. So what's the problem here? Why are you guys stopping so much? I mean, you're considering every intersection a red light? Or a stop sign, I guess, maybe. A better way to put it. Maybe we shouldn't connect to this road so much. Should do like that. 
I think that'll work better. Because this is a main road that goes up here to this circle. So it needs to be, you know, a little bit free of uh, blockages. But everyone's taking a left. <laughs> Interesting. I guess everyone's wanting to get here to work, right? Seems to be. Should we make an exit here? I don't know. They can just zip down here and go. They should be able to just zip down there and go. Look at all this. What's this malfunction? This has always been a bad intersection since, since we started. It's really not that awful. Yeah, people turning right, people going straight. People getting off the interstate here. And stopping again. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Yeah, we've got some issues here for sure. It's finally starting to kind of catch up with us. Look, we're not having trash service all the way over here. Hmm. Well, we need our trash trucks. There they go. They're coming. They're coming, don't you worry. Looks like we've got a dry area. Go ahead and fill in the whole place. There we go. Abandoned building. Seems like that not enough workers problem has kind of, well, spoke too soon. There's another problem right there. When will you have enough workers to slake your thirst? Never. This guy wants health, fire, police, cargo, elementary school. Huh. Mostly they just want transport, I thought. Well, the traffic problems are only bad at during rush hour, I guess. That's what it seems like. Yeah, this is a big problem right here, I think. But why? It's because everyone's taking a left. Everyone's taking a left, and then they're coming to this intersection and getting stopped. This is a shitty intersection. How can we fix that? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we fix that. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, well this game the game is saying it's red. So I guess it is pretty bad actually. Okay, what if I gave you guys so let's just see, where are you trying to go? You're trying to go from, I guess where you live, over there, right? And you're trying to go to work in the industrial area. Okay, that makes sense. Why don't you just get on the interstate? It's too hard? Hmm. Or you could take the subway. That's, well, maybe if we just maybe if we just give them more transportation options, 
So let's start with a bus. A bus is going to start here. It's going to go up on the interstate. No. Up on the interstate and get off here. Yeah. And then it's going to come back here. So you guys can take that to get to work. That's the yellow line. Okay. Looks like the last line I built is working pretty well, but it's not saving a lot of traffic. All right, secondly, we'll extend our subway line. Why don't we make a stop right here on the main road, or one of the main roads, rather. And we'll go ahead and connect it. What do you mean, space already occupied? Oh, because of this one. Okay, so you're just going to start here. And go here. And go back there. Okay. Basically just getting these people to civilization. It's going to take a minute before it starts to work, I think. There goes the first train. It's like picking up some people. Yeah, everybody's going to work. Okay, check back on you later. Seems like it's the thing to do. A building has burned down, eh? Alrighty. Yeah, this is a freaking mess. Well, let's continue on with what we were doing. Trying to fix the uh, situation. A train station for passengers, maybe? Can we fit that? Can we reverse it and fix it? The height is a problem. Height too high. Nowhere? It's not going to let me do it anywhere, huh? Well, we'll just do it here. Of course, you got to build the damn road first, which is really annoying. Build it right here. And then we'll just have it join up that way or join up that way. Oh, come on. Don't be difficult right, right now. What do you mean space is already occupied? By what? I saw you, you were blue. Okay, for Christ's sake. Stop being so difficult. So hopefully people will start to walk to the train station. <laughs> they can take that to work. I would hope. All right, guys, it's been about almost 25 minutes, actually. So we're going to go ahead and end the video there. Thanks for watching, and we're going to continue to grow. We're actually up to 30,000. We gained a lot of folks in this uh, past episode. So we're doing well. I know we are having traffic problems here, and I'm going to try to figure this out. I'm going to try to figure this out. I, I may need to make this and this two separate roads like build this one up and this one goes down i'm thinking about doing that actually so join us on the next episode dalsu plays city skylines see you later